Greetings and welcome back everyone to Stardew Valley and Dapperdale Farm away. Let's see what the fortune is like. Spirit and good humour, so the mine is a potential. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Feast of the Winter Star. The event will take place in the Pelican Town, starting between 9am and 2pm. Don't be late. Righto. You heard the person. You must not... Oh! <gasps> Leah! I have a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, actually. It's snowing. It's my favourite type of day. Brought you a gift. It's a sculpture I've been working on. Just for you. Oh! You received Leah's sculpture. It's called How I Feel About Avak. I hope you like it. That's a very specific title. Wow, we're immediately going to place this down. Can we place it inside your house? Um, yeah, I'm not going to put it near the fire. I'm going to put it at the foot of the bed so that we can see it every morning when we wake up. And there we go. Team Lea is officially back in the running for those of you who were very concerned that it was an absolute non-possibility. Nothing's impossible. Not saying that there's any preference. That, that's still a very, very big... Eh, we'll see where, where, where the tides of fate want to wash us up. Dear Arbach, tomorrow is the Feast of the Winter Star. Did you get a gift for your secret friend, Evelyn? The feast starts at 9am in the town square. See you there, Mayor Lewis. Hmm. What should I get, Evelyn? I mean, I'm not going to just take her a flower. But at the same time, should I take her a cake? I don't know about that either. Also... Yeah, we're getting so close now. I think we're just going to let the fields go fallow for the rest of the season. I'm not going to I'm not going to tend it any further. And on that note, we're just going to up end all of this into there. There we go. Nice and easy. Right, I have said that I will try and cut things out. I've just got to get into the, the Howdy Aaron. Since I've already done pretty much all the work, we may as well finish off. But uh, I will try to get better. I do, I do apologize. Ah, <laughs> uh, Of course, as I haven't yet... Ooh, we're actually getting four large eggs at a time now. As I haven't yet had a chance to review any comments on the previous video, because I'm recording this one straight after it, I haven't heard back from anyone in regards to whether they would actually prefer me to uh, cut out more or less of the farm work. So do remember that I am very, very keen on hearing back from you on whether you would prefer... Uh, oh, damn it. Uh, on whether you would prefer to just have kind of the events more than anything else. Ah. Uh, this is done to fill up with random gubbins. Oh, uh, you know what, Pike? I'm sorry, but uh, mm, still wondering about that. Should I make her a bit of chocolate cake? I mean, she really likes chocolate cakes. You know what? I know that she likes chocolate cake, so I'm going to make her a chocolate cake, damn it. There we go. Well, that's Evelyn's gift sorted. Now then. Akasha, my faithful steed. Well, we must be off to the mountains. No, we can't climb just straight over the mountains. You're not a Skyrim horse. I have no doubt that you're every bit as capable as a Skyrim horse, but you are not one. And therefore, I will not ask that uh, you climb over the mountains for me. Well, we will go and check what type of trainer is. Ooh. It is a regular train. I'm glad that Joja Train has not pulled in. I'm just going to follow around, see if uh, any produce may just happen to fall off the train. I mean, literally, it's falling off. I'm not seeing anyone pushing. Ooh. Some nice artwork on the side of that train. I've got a friend who's a graffiti artist. Hello? What? Cows, I imagine. Sand? Ooh. Aha! Frozen geodes. Apparently, this is the one we want to follow. Hello, more frozen geodes. 
geos for the geo um god and minerals for the mineral throne i i don't know okay my tea is starting to get a little bit cold that is rather dissatisfying okay off we go straight down to robin that's a fair bit of our time actually hey linus Linus, enjoy. This is a great gift, thank you. You're always welcome, Linus. Let's put that in the past, okay? You and I are friends now, I think. You shouldn't just think. You should be certain. The amount, amount of times I have come by and not once have I ruined your tent. Hello, I need something built? I do, but first... There you go, Maru. Oh, no. Would you like it, Demetrius? Oh, no. No one wants my gifts. Do you have a kitchen in your house yet? Yes, I do. I guess winter is a good time to work on my gadgets. I wonder if I could make anything useful for farmers. I have no doubt that you could. Cooking is kind of like doing lab work. Well, uh, yeah, I suppose. I kind of think of it a bit, a little, little bit more like art rather than science. I'm not one of these people that follows an exact recipe. I kind of like to experiment a lot when I'm cooking. Sometimes it goes horribly wrong, but more often than not, it goes well. Ah, oh, I've given everyone too many gifts, damn it. Hey there, Avak. Hey there, Robin. I need something done. I would like... a barn. Plonk. Right. It's not actually a big structure, so we could... Wow. We could even fit two of them if we really wanted to. Now, let's see. If we pop it right at the back there. Um, one, two. One, two, three, four. I think the silo is four wide. Let's see. One, two, three. No, it's actually three wide. Okay. I put the barn here then. I could have the silo right there. Or I could... Yeah, actually. I would like the barn to go there. I can have another silo right next to it. That'll look wonderful. Okay, I'll start working on your new barn the day after tomorrow. I always take festivals off. I love that that little detail that she actually lets you know. Yeah, it'll be the day after tomorrow because, you know, it's a festival. I'm not going to work on a festival. I wouldn't expect you to. Especially this one. Apparently it's a really big deal in Pelican Town. However... Ah! Oh, drag. It's going to be closed. That is unfortunate. Have I given two gifts to George? No, I have not. George! Fried mushrooms, coming your way. They're my favourite thing! Thank you! Wow, really? George has actually got a really high opinion of me. I'm really quite flattered. Very, very flattered indeed. Here you go, Evelyn. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. I usually tend the gardens, but they're covered in snow. Oh, my farm is doing not too bad, honestly, despite the snow. Right, where are we off to today, Akasha? Are we going to the mines? Uh, you can't get through there, of course. I really need to stop expecting you to squeeze through tiny little gaps. I don't know if we're going to go to the mines, actually. We're going to swing by the library, I think. Hello, everyone. Ah, so many of my favorite people in one place. I approve. Here you go, Penny. Thank you, this looks special. Hey, how did you know I was hungry? Because you always eat everything, apparently. I love presents, thank you. Hi. Vincent! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, caught you just in time. I want to look for bugs, but Mum gets mad when I'm all dirty. That's a tough choice. I've lived in Pelican Town my whole life. Can you believe that? Mm, I most certainly can. Hey there, Abby. I'm going to eat so much cranberry sauce tomorrow. Oh, all right. Fair enough. Healthy appetite. Forest is a wonderful place. Have you been there? Yes, I have. There you go. No, no! Damn, I'm blast. Elliot, I need you to let me to give you uh, give you more gifts. 
it's imperative that I am able to give you more gifts. Two just isn't enough to show the levels of my affection toward you. Hello, Clint. It's my last gold bar that I brought out specifically for you. Hey, what do you need? To give you a gift. Yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Also, now I would like you to process some geodes for me, if you wouldn't mind. Ooh. Okay. Fairy stone and just random bits of coal. Very well. An old miner's song suggests that these are made from the bones of ancient fairies. It's a little bit grim. But also kind of nice in a way. Imagine if your bones turned into precious gems. I mean, and then imagine that grave robbers didn't exist. Just imagine that your bones turned into precious gems and leave it at that. Don't think into it too much. Humans are kind of a disappointing species sometimes. Ooh, lots of coral. Coming with me. I can't wait for the festival tomorrow. I just want to speed up time and go to the festival. But I don't want to waste progress. Oh, it's a tough choice. It's a very tough choice. Right, well, let's head back. You know what? I wouldn't mind popping down into the sewers and visiting our good friendly monster. Let's just wait. No, actually, I can't I'm not going to find you again if I leave you there. So, oh. Let's just pop you over here. Be right back, Akasha. Hello. What do you have a sale? A tiger trout. Oh. So it changes. It was an iridium sprinkler before. Hmm. I've already got the tiger trout by the looks of it. Yes, that's a, that's a bit of a shame. I'd really like that, but I don't think I'm getting it, I'll be honest with you. Um, we, uh, I don't know. Should I give him some coal? Um, should I give him a fairy stone? Do you like a fairy stone? Humans have interesting tastes. Uh, sorry. I, I genuinely don't know what, what a monster might like. I'll, I'll have a think. And otherwise known as... I'll let chat let me know eventually. Or rather, comments, not chat. I'll still come by every night to collect your produce, even in the snow. I saw a snow rabbit early this morning. They're rare, aren't they? I wouldn't know. Oh, of course I have. Of course I have. Uh, I'm not going to bother giving you flowers. I'm. Oh, uh, you know what? Alex and Sam. For me? Wow, thanks. My goodness. I've got this entire game just... just Heaping stereotypes upon you people. I am such a derp. <gasps> For me, thank you. You're more than welcome. I wish someone would bring me a peppermint coffee. Nope. 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 Hey, Sam. The feast of the Winter Star is supposed to be the time to show gratitude for all the good things in there. Me? I'm mostly interested in the food. <laughs> That's fine. As long as you're not interested in the coffee. Hey, Caroline. Ah, damn it, Caroline. Why do you have to have your house in a place where I can't access it on Wednesdays? Well, I guess we could do a bunch more preparation work around the farm. Yeah, okay. And for this, I'm going to have you along for the ride, since uh, a fair part of it is going to be me planning out how I'm going to set the farm up. Let's drop off all of this produce. Uh, yeah, they can go as well. So can you. Drop the... Actually, no, we'll want those. I don't think we'll really want this. the wood. I don't know. I am probably going to want, let's think, um, two sprinklers. So I'm going to need two iron bars and a co two copper bars. I've got two iron bars. I do not. Such scallywaggery. However, I should be able to transmute one iron bar from three copper bars. There we go. So two and two. There we are. I'm going to want one scarecrow. 
And I think that's more or less all I'm going to need for now, I think. Okay, let's be off. Where is Akasha? Akasha! Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Akasha, you just hold hold there for a moment. Need to check. Yes, I've fed them all. Ah. I'm eternally paranoid at this point, and it's probably just as well. Better to be paranoid and then waste my time checking when I didn't need to than not paranoid enough and repeatedly forget to feed the chickens. I don't even care from a game aspect. You know, it's just affection rated. I can just build that up. I just don't want to not feed my bloody chickens, damn it. Pixel chickens or not? Chickens is chickens. Um. Right. You hang tight there. There we go. Right, now, what I'm thinking of doing is having beehives. Beehives are as far as the eye can see. Not quite that far. That is that is a lie. Um, well, actually, let's not call it a lie. That sounds particularly bad. Let's just say it's a massive exaggeration. Uh, I'm going to need to clear just these trees from around here. Now, my thought would be a similar setup to the bee hives that we've got over on the far right. So, I should probably have measured it out first before I came down this way. But we should be fine, I think. There we go. That should be good enough. Now, we're going to need flooring. Pop that down for now. There we go. We'll be popping down a bunch of the crystal flooring shortly. For now, we'll just leave that there. Now, if I use, let's say, some of this flooring. If we say something along the lines of one there, there, there. So this gives us one of the beehives. Uh, let's start the other beehive right on this far side. And that gives us a little area in the middle. Would this... Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah. This scarecrow goes there. Then the sprinklers go on each side. And we have exactly the same sort of setup as we have over at the other beehive. So I'm not even going to have to worry about the plants. I'm always going to need more walls, so I may as well produce them in, in fair numbers. Alright, so when the time comes and we have ridiculous amounts of maple syrup, which is going to take some time, because that takes a long time to produce, then we can add a bunch of beehives over here. Though that said, um... You know what? Let's... Let's not actually wall... Let's not have a proper wall and a gate. Let's just do something like this. So There's just kind of a boundary. And then we can just have grass around here. It'll look lovely. Or at least I hope it will. There we go. I quite like it, I must confess. We'll have that going down. Not sure what we'll do down there. But we'll have it going down. Now, what I would like to do with this... Okay, I've got it in mind. Ah, we've got one just a little bit further up as well. Very well. So right up there we've got one. Pop that down there. Then I think it was four down. One, two, three, four. And then the fifth. We'll just double check that to make sure that everything is in its proper place. No, oh, no, no, we, we're doing an alternating every other one. Okay, fair enough. Right, well, I'm going to finish getting this all done, and I shall bring you back when we are complete, and then we can jump over to the next day and the festival. See, why is crystal fruit jelly a different color from the others? Is it trying to tell me that that's the best jelly? Or well, the best thing to make jelly out of? I really don't know. But whatever it is, that's like a purpley colour compared to the other jellies that we make. And it does have me wondering about it. Uh, wrong thing. There we go. It's 1.10am. 
we can easily get these jellies into the produce bin along with the mayo and we're good still got the chocolate cake for Evelyn good 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 okay time for us to snooze oh, I really hope that uh, Evelyn likes this so this is what she thinks of me and not well I mean I'm Welsh so in my culture knots have fairly deep significance but I can't say that Leah is also Celtic though she's got the right colour of hair for it let's have a snooze not that the Welsh are particularly well known for having ginger hair. Ah, look! Whoosh! There we are. Three very good mayonnaises. Six um, not so great mayonnaises, but still brought in a lot of money. And that was all in one day in the forage. Wow. Just wow. In a good way. All right. 6,575 that one day. Right here. And some more mayonnaise. Alright, let's have a quick gander. Living off the land. Ever had the urge to dig around in your neighbor's trash? Yeah. Hey, if that's your thing, just don't do it when people's around. If they notice you, they'll be seriously grossed out. And it'll harm your friendship. Well, unless they're in the, to the same thing. Okay. Fortune teller. The spirits are very happy today. And weather report. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Whose birthday is it soon? Clint's birthday. Ooh, well that's going to be an easy one. Show up with a bar of gold. I say it's going to be easy. I am literally giving the guy just gold. When you think of it like that, it's like, well, uh, actually. Right, well, we've got no jellies. And no snow. Hooray, turn up for the bucks. Wow, the, the world looks so different when it stops having snowstorms. I mean, duh, but, like, wow. It almost feels like I've got different monitor settings or something. Hey, Snufkin. Let's go check on this little place. Right, there we go. Plenty more mushrooms. I approve. We can get ourselves some more fried mushroom to hand over to George should the opportunity arise. We will want a silo there. And the last thing we're going to do before we head out, check on the chickens. Hello, my lovelies. There we go. Big eggs, eggs come with me. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? No, I, it can stay in there for now. Thank you. Right, we'll drop off the mushrooms, make ourselves some fried mushroom. Then I believe we can just uh, head out and take part in the event, I think. One fried mushroom. You know what? I fancy another chocolate cake. Sure, I'll make. Wow, really? There we go. I've got four chocolate cakes now. Evelyn will be pleased. I won't give them to water at once, though. That is how you get diabetes. Well, not the only way you get it. It can certainly contribute. All right. There we are, crocus. Ooh, some wiggly worms that aren't worms. I may stop worrying about those at the, this point. It seems I've gone all the things that uh, there are to get. Hello. Uh, it's like 30 minutes. Let's hold 21 seconds. I am a busy man. 21 seconds is like an eternity in Let's Play. I just have to find random stuff to talk about for 21 whole seconds. My goodness, there we go. Ah, there we are. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, the music's pretty as well. I am, however, a prisoner. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Today is the time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. Look at this spread. You get. Hi, Pam. Mm. I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. Oh, don't be such a sourpuss. 
What a beautiful tree. That's the spirit, Penny. Hi, Jazz. Ooh, presents. And no peeking. And no shaking the box either to try and work out what's inside. And absolutely no peeling all the chocolate figurines off the tree. Eating the chocolate, then meticulously putting the wrapper back on the tree to look like it's full. Yeah, I'm on to you. Do you want to hear the legend of the Winter Star? Yes. In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believed that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with a good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as Stardrop is connected to the winter star in some way. That's quite sweet. Hey, good afternoon. It was morning when I came in, yeah? My lord. I join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. Linus, you are as welcome as you want to be. The only person who is preventing you from joining in and having fun is you. Oh, that's the tragedy of it all. Let's explore around the periphery. Oh, too much around here. Can't get in the sewer, damn. I was thinking, ha will they have thought that one through? Oh, I can just flat out leave. I'm not going to be doing that. Okay, let's go and chat. Hello, Elliot. Why, hello, Havak. It's chilly, isn't it? Yeah, that's a little bit. It's a fine art, making candy canes. You're re you've really gone to search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. Really? I usually use Fern Island r Ring Fruit for my premier canes, you know? You can't beat that bright red colouring. And it's all natural. Well, one would hope. Oh, and you want to know the secret to my deluxe double canes? Okay, but you've got to promise absolute secrecy. It's a drop of vanilla in the white candy to complement the cherry flavour. Your secret is safe with me. Of course, peppermint candy canes are the standard, and I always make a healthy batch of those as well. Hey, you look like you're falling asleep. Are you okay? <laughs> I was starting to get a little bit tired, I will confess, but thank you very much for all of your uh, secrets. Gus was just telling me about his artist and candy canes. <sighs> Yep. I think he had too much cinnamon nog. Hey, George. A feast for some stupid star. Hamburg! Give yep, Evelyn her cigarette. Uh, no. No, no, no. Not yet. Oh, hello. It's not a good time of year for a diet. Uh, yeah, that is true. I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. <laughs> well, you know what, Sam? At least they were in there somewhere. Hi, Avak. Hi, Avak. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Oh, that is so sweet. That is impossibly sweet. Thank you so much. Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. Yeah, but you miss it when you can't. I'll probably get another tool set this year. <sighs> oh. That's, uh, that's a bit awkward, I guess. You open presents now? Oh, I quite like that they are actually all little, little families. Of course, Leah, Gus, and um, Elliot don't actually have families here, but this is one family around a tiny table, and the larger families, like, mm, that's, a, that's a little bit weird. I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year. Except, you know, when I was beaten up and robbed... Or were you just lying about that, Harvey? I'm on to you. Hi, Clint. <sighs> All these happy families. But for me, just another lonely year. Don't worry, Clint. She'll notice you someday. Hello, Shane. No, not talking. Fair enough. Ooh! I've had too much nog! Okay. My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star! Boy, holidays are good for business. I wonder if I could invent some new ones. Oh, watch out. That's where Christmas 2 starts showing up and then candy canes that explode and people floating off and... Ah, oh, it's not good. Nothing like a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? Uh, there's certainly something very nice about it. Right, Emily. Emma, what are you hoping to find under the, the spirit tree? New water can, a jug of spiced mead, a pair of stylish boots. Um... 
I, a new portrait camera would be nice, but I, I don't really expect gifts. You kind of caught me, caught me off guard with this one. I, I never really know what to want. I guess I, I'm happy with what I got. I don't want things I don't. Um. Uh. Well. It's, it wouldn't be answering truthfully if I just said something that I thought would inconvenience someone the least if they were to get it for me. So I'll, I'll say the thing that would actually help out the most, and that would be a new watering can. All work and no play? That's not very fun. Uh, well. I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. Alright, Evelyn, here's your secret gift. Oh, so it's you! Ah, chocolate cake, thank you! Okay. Oh, Caroline is is my secret gift giving person. Hey, Avak, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. Oh, she looks excited. Blackberry cobbler. You received a blackberry cobbler. I imagine it's going to be delicious. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Oh, I will. Look at my little face. Is that not the face of pure joy? Well, that was lovely. I wonder if that is completely random. Because if it is, that's actually really sweet. I wonder if it's someone who doesn't really know you well, and they get you a terrible gift. Because that would be kind of funny. In, in a horrible way. But, uh, you know, it just would be funny. Is that it? Is that it now? Do I just leave? Oh, I'd like some direction. I don't want to miss out on anything. Ah, uh, I guess I'm gonna leave now. Oh well. That was lovely while it lasted. Caroline looks so happy to give me a gift. Okay. That's the best sort of gift. A gift that makes someone happy to give it. Uh, where is the cashier? Yes, I know she'll come straight back home by herself, but I'm not gonna leave her out in the cold, damn it. Uh, where is my horse? A cash? Ah, there you are. Come on. Let's go back home. Of course I wasn't going to leave you. There we go. I'd give you gifts if I could. Alas. Only snuff king can I patch. Well, of my pets. My farm animals. Which, you know, as far as I'm concerned, are kind of pets as well, but... I can pat them simply to raise their heart level, which increases the, the kind of stuff. There's like a mechanic reason to have them like you. But I, I wish I could, I could uh, groom you like a, a proper brush. There's nothing quite like it. Oh, well. Okay. Well, that is it. We are going to turn in for the night, I think. There's nothing much else for us to do, except uh, we've got crystal fruit wine. Ooh, kind of want to see how much this is worth. 50-20. Goodbye, Crystal Fruit Wine. Enjoy. Now, tomorrow will be Clint's birthday, I believe. Yes, it will be. Well, it looks like this is an end of another episode, I'm afraid. Not a bad return. 1,680. 675 of the Crystal Fruit Wine. It's not actually that much. I've got to be honest, it's not as much as I was expecting. But, that is it for this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. As ever, a like on the video lets me know that you'd like to see more Sardio in the future. And I welcome any feedback you may have to offer. But until next time, do take care everyone.